Hello, welcome, Devil Sniper here, and this is episode number 18, season number 2 of our career mode, live career mode, with Portsmouth. And as you can see, we are edging closer to um, January. So, hopefully, we haven't had any um, feedback from... No, that's manager's objectives from our... Where are they? Setting up the scout networks. They're still setting them up. They're away for nine months. <sighs> Hopefully they'll be um, they'll be back soon enough. Uh, quick contract check. I'm sure everyone's contracts are all yeah three years, three years, three years. Yeah, that's all great. Oh, we've got a couple of years. What's what's on a year? Harris? No, I'm not offering him a new contract. He's going in the uh, transfer window. End of story. He's um, he's a gunner. He's a gunner. Um, I want to tie him down for a long time. I want him to be tied down. <laughs> I'll give you a year for a seven. I want to tie him down for a long time. Same as Pav. I want to tie him down for an absolute forever if I could because well I, well I am I'm going to tie him down for the rest of his career mode hopefully we get promoted this season because uh, by the time we get to the championship I think we're going to have an absolutely sickening team it's going to be disgusting absolutely disgusting team how much do you want really damn that's a bargain Time my boys in for a, for a long period of time, which is really this is <laughs> this is essential. You know, I'm still haunted by Josh Thompson. I know a few people will probably say I go on a bit about that, but you know, Josh Thompson. You know, EA took him away from me. EA, not me. EA took him away from me, and um, I'm not happy about it. I'm tying you down for as long as I physically can. You are a tank goalkeeper. Three thousand. That's the advantage of having a few quid. We can do this, you know. We're not going to lose out on blood or oh, shafes. Good God, I'm not letting shafes go. They deserve these contract increases. They've played so so well this far into the season. It's just I just want to have them tied down so I don't have to worry at all. I know I'm sure they'll come to us when we're in the championships. Definitely in the Premiership and ask for more cash. But we'll we'll be financially sound by the time we get into the Premier League. So I'm happy with that. At the end of the day, will be financially sound, which is the most important thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to give you a new contract. You deserve. Oh, hmm. okay. I don't know if that's going to piss him off, but one year extension on five thousand. I'm happy with that. And there we go. So hopefully we're going to get some negotiations back. Hopefully they're all going to agree to sign them. Um, Walker, I'm going to give him a new contract. Uh, Grant, he wants a grand for two, two years. Nice, well done, lad. I'm impressed with you. I like it when they want a little bit more time. There we go. That's it. Good. I'm happy with that. Sorts us out a little bit. It just puts my mind at rest. You know that I'm still haunted by the whole Josh situation. To be honest, really am. Uh, just that was a big. <sighs> Not to worry, not to worry. Anyway, let's go on with this game. We're playing at home against Scunthorpe. As we know, our home form is pretty diabolical. As we know, sometimes our away form is pretty diabolical. No, our away form's not too bad, to be fair. Pretty much our season's been built on our away form and a few dodgy results at home. Um, but overall, we've been really, really good, you know, as a team. They're playing 4 5 1 again. I hope they do what they've done the first time around. The first game, if you didn't see it, go back a few episodes. I think that's around about. Episode 15, episode 16, something like that. Go back and watch that episode and watch how they played. They stood off us. They allowed us too much time and respect. They defended really admirably. But I think I said in that episode, or mentioned in that episode, if if, if I was a Scunfort manager, I would have been fucking raging. Because so I think we beat them 3 or 4 nil. I think it was 3 nil. Pretty sure it's 3 nil. But I would be absolutely disgusted and 100% um, angered. And I just pressed A on the table. I do apologise. We'll have a look at the table after the league. After the league, <laughs> obviously after the league, John, you twat. After the game, and um, see how things are going. And oh well, Scunthorpe are starting very, 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 very fucking quickly, and they're applying a lot of pressures to us already. We just got to stand firm. There we go. Look, Ballon. That's why he's getting a contract increase. He's been epic all season. I know Andy's getting player of the season at this moment in time. Perhaps you guys could do a little poll. Perhaps we do a little poll at the end of the season who you who you feel should be player of the season. I mean. I know we're not very far into the season. We're coming up to like January. But for me, Schaefer, Pavarini, um, Akuno even, 
you can mention while I'm passing the ball around and trying to pull them all out. Otterland has played really well. Schaefer definitely has. Um, Ballon has been majestic. He, he pulled out some big goals out of his ass when we really needed them. Ledley has been a sensation. And um, obviously, Andrew. Oh, this is onto his left foot. That's 1-0. Oh, fuck. Nothing on, nothing on, nothing on. Ballon. Yes, Pav. Onto your right foot. Shoot. 1-0. Get in there. Simple as that. Just passing the ball around him. Stick on his right foot. Don't matter what I shoot with him. I'm going to try some long range with him. I haven't really tried long ranges. Proper long range. He just seems to have so much power from that. Generate from that shot. That was a good 17 yarder, 16 yarder, but generate so many, so much power. It's just um. Oh, he's going to be. He's going to be epic. Absolutely epic. His work rates work so well with Akunas. It's just brilliant. Get the header. Get the header. I can't wait to see what the scouts bring back. I just hope we don't get too much of a fixture pile up. We really want to. I really want to start pushing on for. Um, we haven't really spoke about this yet, but um, in the comments below, I'll be really interested. I know I'm going to be a little bit ahead of you guys when it comes to episodes because I'm doing them live, and it depends on when I have the free time, etc., etc., etc. I'm not really worried about that, but I love reading your comments. I love the interaction, so um, I'll be really interested how you guys feel about this career mode when it comes to being one nil down. And wow. Oh, come on, fast forward it. Right. As as a goalkeeper, I'm gonna stick it on I'm gonna stick it on him. This guy is Is it orbit? Hold on. It would help if I could fucking see what I'm doing. Orbit, there we go. This guy pulls off saves that he has no right. Well, who takes the shot? Oh, here we go. This has been a better one. Look at him bending that leg. Bang! He catches that well. Take oh, it takes a deflection. Oh, it took a deflection. <laughs> I thought he saved that. Oh my god. Laugh out loud. Epic fail. Not to worry. Um, back to the topic. Do you guys think we can get promotion? Do you think we could win the title? Do we dare even... Oh, pass the ball down. Do we dare even think that far ahead? Um, I know we, we haven't done well against the bigger teams. We slip up against teams like Carlisle. It's going to cost us games. Oh, it's onto his left. Sorry. Shooting. Oh, god. I love taking long shots. It's, I do the same in Ultimate Team. I'm so bad for it. Especially when I've, I've got um, Team of the Season, Bundesliga Team of the Season, Tony Kroos. And um, I'm sorry, but. You, 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 oh. He's just silky. I'm sorry. He's just. Oh, I'm going to hit it with you. Oh! Fuck me! That was a nice effort. I didn't even look who it was. I just felt like I was going to shoot. It's because Scum, Scumfork just seemed to want to. Look, 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 look. look. Akuna just made space. Oh my fucking god! What a shot, son! He just made space. It's the way he moves. I fucking love this team. I fucking love this team. Fuck the scripting of Carlisle. Oh, what a finish. We're going to dink on Scumfork. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Nice to have a cold beer. And then knock the ball out. We're going to dick on Scumfork. I swear to God, this is the game that I think we can get a cricket score in. Okay, four five nil. Oh, that's a bad touch, John. Referee. Fucking referee. I should really try techers with. No, look, ball in. Oh, oh, football, football, football. That's how you play football. That is sensational. That is silky. That is everything this team is a fucking belt. <laughs> I'm speechless at greatness. Pavarini, what a ball. Ledley, what a run. What a finish. Those three up top are just fucking sick. I would be disgusted. Scunthorpe again. They're getting dicked on. This game is going to be horrific for for Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe are just gonna are gonna hate me. They're not our bogey team. They're they're the team we beat really really easy. If any Scumthorpe, Scunthorpe, John, you dickless motherfucker. Any Scumthorpe fans who uh, are watching this career mode, I do apologise, but your team on uh, FIFA 13, they haven't made them very good, fellas. And um, they're getting 
absolutely battered by some, to be fair, some pretty damn impressive players. You know, a few, um, I presume, anyone in the comments below, do you believe that the, the players I picked up, uh, the likes of uh, Pavarini and um, Ledley, are regens? Bearing in mind this is only season number two, so like Ryan Giggs would still be playing, uh, etc. So it would be interesting to know. Oh, look! Ref! Ref! Play the ball through. It's Ledley! Near post! Oh! Fucking hell! Led uh, oh, Ledley has got to be someone like Paul Gascoigne, but a Welsh version or something. It's just ridiculous. Pavarini, I. I <laughs> Okay, this is going to be well and truly out there. Probably the most stupidest thing I'm about to say ever. Pavarini is Filippo Bonaperti, but the regen of the West Ham career mode. That's all I'm going to say. That is all I'm going to say. I know you're probably going to sit there and say, what the fuck are you on about? I know I'm only taking a piss. Come on. He's just as good as Filippo, honestly. He's just fucking epic. He can't play Cam, which is a shame. But he just feels so good. He's just got the same sort of touch. In the early days with Filippo, when we had Filippo in the early days, after a season with Filippo, he feels like that. After that first season with Filippo, he just feels so silky, so smooth, so elegant to use. And um, Ledley, just, he's just out of this world. Kuna, he's just, well, they made him godly. But Ledley, Ledley, Ledley is Gascoigne. See, Gascoigne would never have scored from there. So, um... He's the Welsh Gascoigne, but I don't know who he, who he could be like. If he is a regen, if he is a regen, I don't know who he could be. But he's sensational. He's just so much fun to use. He's just oh, I just want to do try skill moves, and I just really fail at them. And I'm oh oh, look at oh, got to finish it. Oh, couldn't get the shot power out. Damn it! He's got such good dribbling. He really really has. I'd love to know his. Oh, he's just fucking brilliant. Games like this make me happy. Games like this make me really smile when you, you're playing against the AI and you know that you're... It doesn't matter what the AI does. You know you're going to dick on them. Absolutely. You're just in that zone. And after that Carlisle game, it's not hard to be in that zone because I played like a mug, so... Look at Pav. He just drops deep like... Filippo, uh, he just makes the play oh shit, I should have played that into makes the play happen get back in there, get back in there, pull on him oh, nice one, pass back to the goalkeeper well we're 3-0 up let's go for it goalkeeper, he's got 3 star skill moves he's um, it's like turning a, a huge tank I ain't going to lie I'm not sure if I can get past this player I don't have the, the actual speed Ugh, no, I don't have the speed to get past him. Obviously, I, I clearly don't have the uh, the techers with the skill moves with uh, a player that size. So I do apologise. I don't. I think we have to wait for a penalty. If we get a penalty, I'll take it with um, with Andy so he gets a goal. But I'd love to score with him. I'd love to do some techers with him. But I wonder if th if his three star skill moves are the three star skill moves of the outfield players. Does that sound a stupid question? Because I know he's a goalkeeper. They might have. I don't know. I just can't imagine a goalkeeper who has three star skill moves he basically can do a roulette that just to me is a bit mind boggling go on then look, look he's he's got a little bit of strength oh, nice skill gets away from his blood oh, in, in, into a pav oh pav's not there what happened why weren't you there pav what's going on oh I was going to slide tackle for a sec but ball was already Right, I've taken my eye off the game. The focus has gone. We've been dicking around a little bit too much. We could have been 4-5-0 or five nil up, so uh, let's get back on the focus, John. Let's increase the goal. I'd like to get a fourth, if I'm honest. I would love to hit a fourth goal. I'd like Schaefer to score one, but I don't really care who scores it. I'd love just to get fourth. I don't particularly want to concede. That's a nice ball out to Ledley. He's everywhere, isn't he? Ledley is absolutely everywhere. Knock into Pav. One touch. Shoot. Goal. Oh. Should have been a goal. Should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. Not to worry. Ooh. Oh, nearly a nice turn. 
Oh, but I managed to regain. Oh, but I lose it. Go on, Shafe. <laughs> oh, ref! It's got to be our foul, surely. And book him. Oh, perhaps it's the scripted substitution. We are getting to that time. I might bring Watty on, actually. I might bring Watty on. I might bring Watty on for the last last five minutes. Oh, what sends? Where's team management? Oh, there it is. I might bring Watty on for the last few. Uh, give him a bit of a run out. Um, who's... Oh, wow. Ledley's coming off as well. Um... Kane, you can stay on, but Shafe is coming off, and I'm going to put Webster in there just to cover. Hopefully, those those few, hopefully those last five minutes might just give him that little bit of extra recovery for the next game because we've got a game in four days. As you know, the fixture list on uh, EA is one of my favourites. I do love the way they do the fixtures. I think they're fantastic. Look at the boys, on look at them all celebrating. That's it. Look, look at the team spirit. Fantastic. Come on, boys. There's a goal left. There is a goal left in this game. AJ. No, it's going to be for them. It's going to be for them. There you go, the ball over the top. Andrew, well played, son. Drop it at your feet. S. Royal told me how to drop it at my feet. Actually, uh, speaking of S. Royal, I don't know what the, the S actually stands for, but I'm going to call him Royal. Um, he's someone who posts quite a lot on uh, on the videos, watches a lot of my videos, which is uh, I'm really grateful for, firstly. So I thank you for that. But he comes up with some magnificent ideas and formulates some cracking answers when it comes to players and um, buying people and uh, generally formations and everything like that. As the full-time whistle goes, we've just won 3-0. I think that's back-to-back 3-0s -back against Gunthorpe. So 6-0 aggregate. I'm happy with that. Pavarini, Akuna and Lenley scoring is fantastic. But back to uh, to Royal. Um, it's just it's just so nice when I read all the comments. I love reading all the comments from everybody, and there's a lot of people who post on a regular, regular basis. But I just want to pick Royal out. Just it made a few posts that really, you know, were just mag magnificent goal, <laughs> magnificent posts when it came to um, formulating ideas for for additional storylines in the career mode, for formulating uh, players, you know, formations to help me, and it's just really nice. That interaction is absolutely really, 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 really nice, and I, it's one of the things I absolutely enjoy. And um, when I watch bigger YouTubers, because obviously, you know, we all know who the bigger YouTubers are without me mentioning them. Um, I watch a few on uh, Ultimate Team. I mean, I suppose the guys I watch on Ultimate Team, I like watching, um, I watch Skills, I watch Nepo, I watch a whole array of people. I watch Master Bucks. Um, not so much MGH anymore. There's a few reasons why um, I, I, that I stopped sort of watching him. Um... But yeah, I watch a whole array of people. But the one thing that always amazes me is, I understand. Oh wow, that's just fucking brilliant. Oh, get in there. That's made me very happy. The one thing that's always amazed me about them is they sort of answer people for about half an hour, 25 minutes to 45 minutes, something like that. But they never, you know, answer people fully. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've probably upped the amount of videos I release, so I don't reply literally straight away, but I make sure I try to reply to every video um, and reply to as many comments as I physically can. I, I mean, my hit ratio is probably about 85% on replies, and it takes me about 12 to 24 hours to reply to people, which is it's not too bad when you think about it. I do work 12 hours a day. I do have a family, so um, it's not as if... Um, I have like time on my hands to literally just sit there and reply to everyone. If I did, I'd, I'd probably be uploading about 50 videos a day. No, I wouldn't. That'd just be ridiculous. But you know what I mean. You can. I'm sure you guys can catch on to what I'm, what I'm saying. But um, yeah, no, I just really appreciate the support. It's just so nice to have that interaction and have someone take a real interest in your videos. So yeah, there we go. Look at. Oh my God, some bad fitness. Bad fitness. Oh my god, I'm worried about this fitness standard now. Okay. Oh, I'm a little bit worried. Definitely, definitely a little bit worried. We got, yeah, we've got one centre back. Webster, I'm sure Webster's the tall lad. Yeah, he's a six foot three. God. Not good. 
Okay, well, we're going to go into this game. It's going to be uh, an interesting one. I'm going to probably be a little bit ragey, which is going to be frustrating for you guys, which hopefully you can relate to because those fitness levels in certain areas are going to cause us problems. Hopefully we can get a couple of goals early doors, settle the nerves, settle the old... Um, definitely settle the nerves. Um, I'm hoping Watty will play well. I'm, I, I want Watty to have a really good game. I really want him to start scoring because at this moment in time, Acuna and um, Pavarini are definitely going to be my starting too. So I need to find a, a stroke partner for Tony Watt, essentially. He has medium, medium work rate, so I need to find a strike partner with a, a high-low. Um, if we can't find one with high-low, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, I don't really care, but I need a decent striker to go with him. Unfortunately, the boys we do have in the remainder of the team, as you've seen, you know, Jack Maloney, um, Dan Thompson, Ashley Harris, who's going. But, you know, the likes of Dan Thompson is just not good enough. He's just not at the races whatsoever. We're still in third position. Barnsley are really pressuring us. Charlton has slipped up. Sheffield Wednesday at this moment time accelerating away, so the return game against Sheffield United is a huge game. And uh, Mido, is that the Spurs Mido? Didn't Mido used to play for Spurs? Is that the Egyptian Mido? Does he play for Barnsley? Wow, okay. Hmm. I thought he was on a free transfer. I thought he, his contract had run out. I can't remember who he plays for. I was looking at the PFA um, free free agents list and uh, people's contracts had run out, like Carlton Cole hadn't had his contract renewal. And I'm sure I saw Mido on there. His contract had run out. But I can't remember who he'd play for. It might have been Barnsley, to be honest, but... Mm. That's where I feel fresher now. I just had a bit of my uh, beverage to uh, refresh in me. And um, let's get a good game going. Let's get a result on the uh, on the cards. Let's shoot from 35 yards. Oh, that will run for a second. That's a bit worrying. Whoa, come on. They're getting a physical on me, referee. That's Tony Watt. Come on, do they not know who Tony fucking Watt is, little bastards? They like to play on the break here. Dear oh, shit. I'm not sure Boom watches them. Um, if you follow the West Ham complex, you'll know that um, Boom... Boom. Uh, oh, perhaps you won't, because Boom doesn't really speak much. He's a bit weird. <laughs> I'm joking, I love Boom to bits. He's, he's one of my closest friends. He's really, really... Sound as a pound lad, but um, he lives in Barnsley, and um, back on like FIFA 12 and FIFA 11. He would only ever lose, use Barnsley in like um, head to head seasons, and I'm playing really bad. And um, beat people with five star teams and shit like that. So he's a bit of a bar like a closet Barnsley fan. He's a, he was born in Germany, um, but he's not German. And uh, obviously he supports Bayern Munich so at this moment in time, even though it's uh, a good few days ago, probably a week ago, but um, Munich are European Championship winners or European champions so I can't really take the piss out of him anymore it's a little bit frustrating and I turned I was looking at the player I'm making a run on the right and oh you've got to play with your head not your f oh sometimes I get distracted by runs that changes my thought of what I'm trying to fucking do I'm playing so bad god damn it right Definitely in this episode, if I do go quiet in the second game, that's because I'm trying to concentrate because I'm just playing really bad football. I've gone f I've gone from the easy win against Scunthorpe. Why does it do this? Look, EA, sort your fucking game out. It's not hard for that twat to move forward to the line. It doesn't have to go up like 0, 0 miles fucking per hour. Look at him. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, you... Oh, thank fuck for that. <sighs> Anyone else ever had that happen to them? That seems to be a regular occurrence for me. On career mode, it's beyond frustrating. <sighs> Come on, John. They want to score first. That's what it is. We don't want to... Cons oh! Oh! Played. That's well played. Come on, Clifford. Stretch those legs, son. If that opens up, you've got to ping it. Spread it. Good play. First time ball. Oh, you backed off. Control it. Hit it. Oh, Tony. Ah! Oh, where did the control go away from him? Oh, come on. Come on! I'm playing bad. I'm just playing bad. That's what it is. Barnsley are dominating me at this moment in time. 
We need to um, settle, sort ourselves out. Oh, it's too heavy, too heavy. He's not going to get there. Well, the defender panicking there. He just got Bugger. Edwards. Hassel. Oh, this is a struggle, this game, for some reason. They're just playing really well. They are high in the league, I know, but still, I, should, I, I feel we have more than enough to... Glad Andrew had that. What? Are you fucking me? I wish you could take it back frame by fucking frame. That does not. <sighs> that does not hit his hand. That's just absolutely fucking ridiculous. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Fuck! <sighs> Come on. Now we've got to up our gameplay. Alright, we're going to attack in. Not pissing about. Let's get our sweat heads on. Let's treat this like Silverstar Division 1 and absolutely sweat our nutsack off. Go on, hit it. Weak foot or not. Go on, Tony. Oh, fuck on, Tony, your first. Oh, damn it! Come on! Need a goal before half time. Or at least at the start of the second half. No one's making the runs. What the fuck? No, you're not catching me. Fuck you. Play the ball on. That's the run. Oh. That's going to be a nice ball. Could have been a flick on. 1 0 at half time. I'm not happy with that whatsoever. It's utter. Fucking rubbish. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's not even... I can't even call that scripting. I don't even know what to call that. FIFA AIDS. Oh, no one there on the follow-up. Go for the corner. No, of course not. Are we going to get that? It's a throw-in. It's all right. We're in attack in third. Come on, get the throw going. Ball on your left foot. Look at Pav. Nice skills. Oh no! 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 I'm forcing the play now. That, that's even worse than just naturally playing because when you're forcing it. You make more errors. You miss out the simple and you get caught. Fucking well played, Andy. Just got to play our natural game. Have faith in what we can do. Oh, see, that's just bollocks. There was no need for him to be fucking stretching. Thank you very much, Alan. Oh, then they get the rub of the fucking green. Oh, thank God for that. Fucking hell. Oh, I probably need it. Whatever. Have we got anyone we can bring? Ah, oh, what the fuck? Match details. Team management. Squad. Who's knackered? Mmm. Fuck, 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 fuck. Right. Thompson. Maloney. Uh, left midfield, right midfield, and that's it. <sighs> I 
I'm not happy about taking Tony off, but um, I don't know. It's just not feeling at the races for me at this moment in time. So um, he's going off. Gives me a chance to open a beverage. Oh, not been a. It's been a good episode. You know, I'm not going to lie. It's been a good episode. Um, losing one nil to Barnsley at this moment in time. It's not what I um, I'm I'm happy with. Um, I think we're going ultra attacking and. It's the, oh, the way my player just does not react after the ball. <sighs> oh, I just dived into it. Like, really, John, come on. You're just forcing it now and you're playing even worse. It's too many. Oh, my God. Who was that? And he's kept it in. I thought they'd gone for a... Oh, my God, John. I'll take that back. This could be a bad episode. <laughs> Ballon getting forward. Cut inside. Pav. Need you to go big, boy. Need you to go big. If you want to go big, this is the moment. Oh, I just couldn't get that pass through. Who was that coming up on the left-hand side? Oh, that would have been a fucking good... We're going to lose this game. I can feel it. We've been fucked out of the game. Oh, Pav, you need to be making that run earlier. Not to worry. Make up for it now. Make up for it now. Make up for it! Oh, my God! Get in there! 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 Fucking hell! That beautiful bloody goal! When you need someone to go big... <laughs> what a goal! That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. What a finish. What a finish. He is unbelievable. As a player, he is unbelievable. Absolutely. Filippo, version 2, has just saved my absolute ass. He is Filippo, version 2, with freaking huge great bells on. Absolutely huge great bells on. Oh, that's a great ball by Akuna. Good cross in. Good cross in. Go on. Oh, yes! Fucking ball on! Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! 1-0 down. Playing absolutely awful. Made some substitutions. Pavarini with an absolute epic goal. And Ballon with a header of an absolute goal. Look at the run. Look at the run. Look at the run. run. The determination. The aggression. Oh, yes. Come on, Pompey. We are back in this. We definitely couldn't afford a loss if we were aiming for um, for finishing in the top two. Automatic promotion. The game's not over, I know that, but we're doing okay. The ball's gone out. They're making a substitution this late in the game? How bizarre. What's the point? You're just wasting time. Mm. Very apt shirt name. Yes, you have been dumb. <laughs> well and truly dumb. Rocket it, my son. Rocket launcher. What a goal kick he has. That's a monstrous kick. Oh, that's a ball. That's a ball. Connor Clifford. Connor Clifford. Oh, fuck. I thought about finessing it, but I went for power. I think the lad's a little bit knackered, to be fair. He was... Oh, oh. Oh, okay. I thought something might come from that, but obviously not. Not long to go. 90th minute. That's got to be the full-time whistle, right? Yes! That is a fucking huge result. Absolutely huge result in this double game episode. I know it's been a long episode, 34 minutes, but oh my God, that was a huge goal. What a huge game. 79th and 86th minute. Oh, get in there. After the bullshit penalty EA gave against us. I don't want to see the penalty again. I want to see that Pavarini goal again. I really want to see that goal again. It was immense. That was a big opportunity. Andrew coming out, spreading himself. All six for eight of him. Here we go. Look, one touch with his right foot. Bang! Pick that out, son. Pick. Look at that run from Ballon. That looks so much better from this 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 angle. Ooh! Yes. Come on. Who says career mode isn't fucking fun? It's full of emotion. 
It's an emotional fucking roller coaster. One minute you're high, the next minute you're absolutely low, and then it takes something like that and you're high again and you just feel that brilliance. And It is transfer market. If I actually had a offer for a job, well, I'm not taking it because uh, this is Pompey. Four grand per week? No, I'm, I'm afraid not. I like your kits though, if that helps on the Ultimate Team. Late show for Port for Portsmouth. All my days, 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 all my days. Barnsley with a t oh look at that. Ooh, January the first. So we're going to advance it to the actual. Um, do I advance it to the second and then have a look at the free agents? Should we have a look at the free agents, or do I wait till we get to the game and have a look at the free agents? It doesn't really make make a difference, does it? So we'll, we'll get to the game. We'll go and have a look at the free agents. Um, and then we will assess uh, player options. As you know, we're not going stupid. We're not buying fucking brilliant players. We're just buying a little bit of depth because we've had no comeback from our scouts yet. Oh, hello. <laughs> Speaking of scouts, um, contract offer accepted. That's brilliant. Uh, first scout. This is our Greek guy. Um, what has he got? A 16-year-old rated... 67 to 93, interesting. Uh, 62 to 90, interesting. A 62 to 90, uh, 61 to 87, and a 65 to 91. And they are actually 16 years old. Mm, okay, right, so at this moment in time, I can't pronounce any of those fucking names whatsoever. So we're going we're gonna to continue scamming those ones. <laughs> Metcalf. And Metcalf has bought me a 55 to 77 potential. Um, Ismail is a 59 to 85. Woods is a 62 to 88. And we've got a 59 to 85. Um, where does he play? It doesn't say. Oh, I don't... Oh, it's, it's given him like a whole host of positions. Um... Right, okay. We're in the transfer window, so I'm, I'm happy to wait for a month to see how these guys progress, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, well. I need another month with those, to be honest. So that's good that we've got something back from them. Of course, I bloody stay put. I'm not going anywhere. Right, transfers. Uh, buy players. Free agents. Let's have a look at the free agents. Oh, please. 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 Have something epic. I'm going to go up to 25. Just so we might get a little bit of age. We haven't got much age in our team. Which is a little bit worrying, to say the least. So. No, it looks like there's absolutely nothing really worthwhile or interesting in there whatsoever. Hold on, is that Josh Thompson still available? Sorry, I had to press search again because it wouldn't let me go back across. Josh Thompson. I wonder if it still says I can't approach him. Approaches have been blocked. Approaches have been locked. So we lost... Jack Compton and Josh. I didn't realise we lost Compton. Um, damn it, there's no one decent in there. Right, so... Okay, a few players off the top of my head. I've got my notes to hand to... Um, Damn it, to go through the players that people offered. Um, one was Bradshaw. Now, I'm not sure where Bradshaw plays. Um, I'm going to actually have a look at Wordsworth. I know he's not the greatest, but it's not the point. It's, th th this career mode is not about that. People need to get that round into their heads, around their heads or something. That you know, It's not about having the greatest players, the best players, etc. It's just about having some depth and hopefully you know, decent players. A realistic buy would be Wordsworth, to be honest. Uh, this is Bradshaw. Um... Tom Bradshaw plays for Yeovil. Has something special. Uh, we're going to make an inquiry about uh, about Bradshaw. That could be the, the next striker we actually need. That'd be fantastic. So we need to add. We need right back or a left back. Um, 
probably another. We need so many blocking players, but I'm not going to go OTT to be honest. Uh, let's have a look. We're in League One, so maybe Championship sides is realistic. You know, people might make that step down. If not, we have to look in this league. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, what? No. Southampton got relegated. Okay. <laughs> Southampton got relegated, gutted. Oh, okay, so. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, no one really sticks out. I mean, Hewitt is. Is that fair to use Hewitt? I don't know if that's fair to use Hewitt or approach Hewitt, to be honest. Um. The only other striker I can think of is who I'd like to use, apart from Naki Wells. Is Naki Wells fair? Would anyone agree Naki Wells is fair? I wouldn't mind having a look at Vidra. I don't know if I spelt his fucking name right either. I should have just looked at Watford. Yeah, it would have been easier. I spelt his name completely fucking wrong like a cunt. God damn it, John. And uh, yeah, it looks like this episode's a long one. It's 40 minutes long, so I'm going to just quickly finish up and um, let you guys crack on. Oh, he's not there. Hold on, that's because I've got it on fucking. Oh, Jesus Christ. Having a good day. I'm having a cracking day. I don't know about you guys. Well, let's have a look. There he is. Perhaps he could be um, he could be one we could add to the list. I like the look of Bradshaw, obviously, because he's got showing, but <laughs> I'm not going to lie. His potential looks good. Uh, we're going to drop down to League One. We're going to finish off having a look at um, Cole Chestnut. There we are. Have a look at Cole, you Wordsworth. He's not going to be the greatest player in the world, trust me. But I like him a lot. I really do. They want 600 grand for him. Bino! Bino's 29! Oh, yeah, because obviously it's season on. I was going to say, he's, yeah. It makes sense now. But um, there's me boy. He is really, really... I like him. I like him a lot. He is a good player. Um, shame he's left goal, you. But he's a really good player. He can play so many positions. Medium high, left foot. I'm actually going to put a punt in for him. Um, approach to buy... Wordsworth, uh, he's on a three-year deal at this moment in time. They want 700000 I'm going to offer just a statutory six. Um, I'm not going to spend over a million pounds on a player. No, no. Um, shit, we need to think about fullbacks. We really need to think about fullbacks. I'm going to go to the view short. Let's see if I actually got on there. Okay, so we've got... Oh, here we go. That's where Barbero is. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Now I know where he is. That's good. He looks pretty OP. He's Brazilian. Uh, Joe Matok is a left back that was recommended. Rojas, I've got him at Sam Doria, so I probably won't bring him into this career mode. That wouldn't be fair. I think he'd be a bit too OP, to be honest. Naki Wells or Bradshaw? Let's inquire. I've inquired about him, haven't I? Let's inquire about Naki Wells. I do. Like, I really want to use Naki Wells. I really want to use. He's got so much pace. Fucking hell. I want to use. Fucking hell. He's got pace. Oh my god. Both of them. Fuck it. Look at that agility. Agility. And, oh my god. Um. I'll be really interested to see who we could pick up. Um. If you guys could post in the comments below. I know I'm going to be a little bit ahead of you, but um, not ahead of you enough not to uh, pick up on. What players you recommend? Left back and full right back. Left back and a right back because we. I'm. I'm so close to to approach an Ipswich for him, but I don't really want to. Um, anyway, we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave it there. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. That's where we are at this moment in time, and I will uh, catch you later. Mm -hmm.